I have always asked you guys to sign up for credit cards using my referral link down below because they offer you quite good rewards via the SingSaver rewards program, right? But you realize that you always need to hit a minimum spend on this credit card so that you can qualify for these rewards. And some of you may be thinking, what do I have to spend on? Because my monthly expenses isn't that large in the first place. So in this video, I will be sharing some examples of merchants that you can use to hit the minimum spend not only on qualifying on your site up offers from sync savers but as well as your daily credit cards where you have to meet minimum spend to get the higher cashback or miles right i will share some of these tips and tricks with you so stay tuned now before i start if you have any further questions you could join my telegram group because there will be a group of experts willing to help you to understand your credit card habits and spend and maybe advise what is the best credit card strategy so go join my telegram group at honey sg so let's take a look at one of my sign up offers for city premium miles mastercard right this is actually under the city bank offers via sync saver and city bank has been rather generous with their product offerings because city has been consistently giving out $350 as cash payouts for new customers who have not held a Citibank credit card for the last 12 months. And why I use the example of City Premium Miles card is that this card is really good for young working adults or fresh graduates um, because it gives you 1.2 miles unlimited as well as it won't expire. But the most important benefit is it gives you two free airport lounge passes every year. And so if you want to travel and fly out of Changi Airport, you could actually use your airport lounge pass for yourself and one more guest so you can just bring your partner bring your friend bring your father bring your mother bring your family member and all of them can enjoy the airport launch as well but if we look closely at the terms and conditions to get your $350 of cash reward by SingSaver you realize you need to hit $500 within 30 days of card approval so for normal big spenders I don't think $500 is a problem but if you're a frugal person you are a thrifty person where your monthly credit card bills is maybe only two three hundred hundred dollars because you're just out of university right then what can you spend on what can you do i felt that there are two main ways that you can approach this it's either you have a very large one-time purchase or secondly you have prepaid purchases where you can spend currently and then you want to redeem the value over future time so if we are talking about one-time large expenses it will include the following like electronics and home appliances this is when maybe you want to upgrade your current home appliance or electronics you want to buy a new tv you want to buy a new washing machine you want to buy a new aircon all these are quite huge ticket items right so i think these are quite easy the other example is mobile phone right because we know that recently the new iphone 14 has just launched and just that purchase alone is over a thousand dollars so that will easily hit the minimum spend for sign up offers as well as some of the minimum spend of credit cards as well so you can take a look at that if you want to change to a new mobile phone then you can look at what are the attractive credit card offers that allows you to get this kind of cash rewards on the minimum spend and of course the final large purchase example that i have is wedding expenses now wedding is not only a large expense wedding is a super large expense like come on your wedding banquet each wedding banquet table is close to two thousand dollars now if we look at five or six stars hotel so what gives right your five hundred dollars is just a minuscule sum compared to the per table banquet number so that's for one-time large purchases simple and easy enough to understand for everyone i think it's quite clear to understand because you already know that you have something you want to purchase then you go and sign up for the credit card then you just spend your credit card on this now what about the other camp people who don't have any kind of one-time large ticket items what are they going to do because they have nothing to spend on so my next examples will be more relevant for this group of people you will mainly want to spend on prepaid purchases and i'm sure you know what prepaid means basically you pay like a huge sum up front and then you can go and redeem the value fairly later for example, like gift cards, like vouchers, like prepaid credits, all these are kind of prepaid purchases, right? But if you really want to know what is the best prepaid offer, I can show you because my sponsor has something good for you guys. You know, there are some really bad news right now because the core inflation in Singapore announced by MAS has risen to 5.1%. But you know, the good news is you can now sign up for Mumu account using my referral link in the comments or you can actually scan the QR code right here. And I still can't understand why some of you haven't signed up yet because once you have deposited $2,700 as your initial deposit, you can get a $40 cashback coupon and also one chance to spin the stock wheel and you can get up to one free Amazon stock. 
Now, if you want a really good reason to use Moomoo, you'll be glad to hear that they will be offering zero commissions for all US stocks and ETFs forever. And at the same time, they're offering zero platform fees for the first year. And even after the first year, the platform fee is just 0.99 per order. With the Moomoo app, you'll also get real-time data of the market as well as live prices, you know. And you know that's quite important, right? Because these features in some other brokers are actually chargeable and Moomoo is giving it to you for free. Now, even if you are a full-time student right now, and you don't have a lot of money to do the initial deposit, Momo is lowering down the requirements for students because they just need to deposit $1,000 and they can get the same sign up rewards as per other working adult users. So hurry up, use my referral link down below or scan the QR code to sign up for your Momo account right now. Alright, so one of the most popular way you can spend on prepaid gift cards or prepaid vouchers is on grocery because you know that your neighborhood grocery store NTUC FairPrice actually do offer two kinds of prepaid purchases one of which is the physical NTUC FairPrice voucher I think they want everybody know right sometimes your company will give you that as an employee reward right give you some FairPrice voucher for lucky draw or company dinner and dance kind of thing so you're very clear on that you could just purchase physical FairPrice vouchers from the NTUC cashiers just tell them you want to buy like $100 worth of NTUC voucher and then they will go to the storeroom and take them out to scan them one by one so that you can make payment on the spot. Now NTUC also have a gift card as well so for those people who are more environmentally friendly and conscious then maybe you want to purchase the gift card because the transaction is the same. You can just say like I want to buy this gift card and you can top up $100 to it so it will be like the same as buying an NTUC fair price voucher because it will go through the same cashier machine of that fair price cashier. It will be coded as grocery spend so you don't have to worry about it being like non-retail spend that is not qualified because I think the other more important condition is whether you spend on this merchant or this good or services is it considered eligible spend for the sign up offer or not and i can safely tell you that grocery spend is one of the most non-debated items right it will definitely qualify because it's the same as purchasing groceries at the cashier itself and also the fact that grocery is a necessity spend right so it's quite easy for you to use it like next time you need to buy fruits and vegetables you need to buy some supplies or home appliances even from ntuc extra of course this is not sponsored by ntuc yeah i'm just saying that it's one of the most convenient ways where you can clock your spend for minimum spend here okay the second way is going through online gift cards and one of the best portal for this is actually shopback now if you haven't heard of shopback yet you can use my referral link to go and download shopback because it's one of the most powerful apps to save money in singapore and you can get like free five dollars to ten dollars based on the new sign up offers available and the reason for shopback is not just that it can give you some cashback when you spend on like certain merchants that partner with shopback through an affiliate program but the other fact is that in shopback itself you can actually buy gift cards and online vouchers i think that's the most powerful invention ever since shopback came to our lives because not only you can buy like those very normal vouchers that you know of like q10 lazada all these kind of shopping vouchers you can even buy like movie tickets lifestyle dining this kind of vouchers within the shopback app itself and there are a lot of variety of gift cards available on shopback that you may not even know of so it's a pretty good deal right after all that discounts plus the cashback on the gift cards so sometimes online shopping is very rewarding because of this fact of course the important thing about using shopback is that you need to at least know what kind of vouchers that you want to buy or what kind of gift cards you want to purchase on the shopback and see if it's available i think their merchants kind of change over time because some of them may not work with shopback anymore so you have to be careful see whether your merchants is still available on shopback because sometimes they may not work together anymore then you realize that your voucher cannot use so be very careful on that lah. okay the next prepaid thing you could buy is actually the q coin from q10 app right because you know q coin is kind of like a semi cryptocurrency it's not really crypto but more of like a blockchain technology which i don't even know what kind of blockchain technology they use but it's like their prepaid credits for Q10 purchases. It's different from Q10 gift cards because Q10 gift cards give you the Q money, right? Q money you can then use to offset your Q10 purchases on your shopping cart. But Q coin actually kinds of fluctuate in value and it actually fluctuates in line with the US dollar. So if US dollar actually appreciates, your Q coin value will appreciate as well. As well as it has an intrinsic value. I remember when it was just launched a few years ago, 
the Q coin value is actually one US dollar. And I think now it has inflated to up 1.4 USD per Q coin. So you see it's like a 40% increase after so many years. So if you treat it like an investment and you bought like 10,000 Q coin during the start, nah, you are now like 40% up, you know. But nobody really knows, right, unless it's on hindsight. So you can see Qcoin is actually one of the ways where you can prepare your spend and just buy the Qcoin gift card via the Q10 app. Now, the final way I'll recommend to prepare your expenses is more of a lifestyle thing. Because if you grow for group settings, your group dinners or your company lunches, be the first one to pay. Okay, get everyone to pay you back later. What it means is that when the food bill has finally arrived, the waiter is coming with the bill, you'll be the first one to raise up your hand and say, I'll pay first, okay, with your brand new credit card because maybe the bill is like one two hundred dollars and you can clock the spend on other people's money. I think that's the best case. You don't need to spend on anything and you just rely on people to pay you back in cash via pay now or pay la up to them. But one very important thing is that make sure these people really pay you back, huh? If not all that cash back and their reward offers all not worth it so make sure that the people that you're paying for first are steady people okay and they know how to pay you back automatically without you having to constantly remind them if not you could also look at your company expenses what are those that you can prepay on your own credit card first such that you can then claim back from the company in terms of employee reimbursements i'm not talking about those large purchases where you need to be paid with the company corporate card ah. i'm talking more about like the small claims right like maybe you want to claim an employee meal like 20 dollars 30 dollars on your own personal credit card i think the company will reimburse you back right Right? So all this has to align with your company policy because some companies like you all need to spend on your own corporate credit card whereas some companies they allow you to spend on your personal credit card then claim it back from the company as reimbursement. So you have to see your HR policy on that. Lah. So I've gone through all these ways where you can hit your minimum spend legally and ethically without burning any people's rice bowls and do take all of it as entertainment value and not take it as financial advice lah. because I'm not responsible for any monetary loss that may arise when you try to use this kind of methods. You have to really see whether it suits your lifestyle and it suits your personal situation or not. But if you're really interested on all these credit card sign up offers, like you want to apply for multiple credit cards, what are the things that you need to take note of? Then I refer you to watch my credit card churning video because the information is still relevant till now where I teach you how you could do credit card churning successfully and legally in Singapore.